So here's a pro tip. When you're trying to find a parking space, park next to the most expensive car you can find because if someone is going to break into a car, it probably won't be yours. It'll probably be the expensive one. So I found a Maserati and um, found my spot. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. I am currently sitting in my car um, because I am going to the TCM Classic Film Festival today. I am getting ready to head over to the Roosevelt Hotel to pick up my press pass. And I think the first movie I'm going to see is Sleepless in Seattle, which I saw in college like a really long time ago. Okay, well, not to date myself, not that long ago, but it was a few years ago. I'm starting to sweat in my car. It's hot out today, but it's even warmer in a VW sport wagon. And so I'm going to go, but I will take you with me and we're going to walk up and down Hollywood Boulevard. today. What's up? This is such a this is such a nice bag that they gave us. Oh yeah. Did you pick it up? Yes. Right. Oh, Michael Jackson. I'm not sure if that's the... Wait, let me see your glasses. Bingo. <laughs> wow. How are we wearing the same glasses? God damn it. Reminds me of the Ace Hotel Theater. Oh, for sure. Just yeah, the we, ceiling and the, like, you have to look up and the name is actually. Yeah. Well, it's the I. I mean, it, this is not an IMAX movie, obviously. But <laughs> it's the Seattle IMAX, right? Maybe Ryan's pores <laughs> never looked so. <laughs> yeah. So this is your first time seeing this movie. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's a lot of glaring holes in that. We'll be watching that. Oh, the first same. Thing and Sleepless in Seattle might be one of those that people say, you've never seen it. Yeah. 
Well, I have a really long list, so I don't even like to tell people. If I've said I've seen a movie, there's a 50-50 chance I've probably <laughs> not seen it. telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> out of Sleepless in Seattle uh, 20 minutes ago and it was if you haven't seen that movie recently I highly recommend giving that a rewatch because that was so funny and I think a lot of the jokes that I heard when I watched it the first time I fully got now I think I watched it before college actually because there was a lot of jokes I would have understood if I was in college I hope <laughs> we are gonna be starting a Nora Ephron panel in about 20 minutes here at the TCM lounge. So it's gonna be an hour of just people who she's worked with and collaborated with over her career. Sleepless in Seattle, You've Got Mail, When Harry Met Sally, so classic. And that's all her, it's all Nora. And I'm super excited to kind of see what these panelists have to say and just kind of give more insight into who Nora was as a person, as a writer, as a, a female director and just an all-around inspiring woman. Um, um, but, but, but she was who she was. And these, it used to be Elizabeth Mendy's care. What? So we just wrapped up the Nora Ephron panel, which was so cool. She's such an amazing lady. Um, I guess she was very particular about food and her food choices. And it was the funniest thing. So at her memorial service, apparently, she requested that pink champagne be served. And a specific type of pink champagne. And it wasn't the best, it wasn't the most expensive, but just this particular pink champagne. And um, we got some. Everyone in the audience got a glass of pink champagne in honor of Nora Ephron. So that was really cool, a very unexpected touch. Um, so that wrapped up a few minutes ago. Now I'm just hanging out at the Roosevelt Hotel as I wait for the next screening, which is gonna be Nashville with Jeff Goldblum. And I heard a little rumor that he's gonna be here. So I'm gonna get a front row seat for that. But in the meantime, this is what we're working with. They're setting up right now for the seven o'clock screening, which is gonna be a poolside screening. Yeah, I know, amazing. Also from the cast, the tricycle man himself, Jeff Goldblum. I just got home and realized I forgot to film an outro, so I'm gonna do a quick one right now. TCM, thank you so, so much for such an amazing festival, such an amazing day, such an amazing gift bag and bottle of wine, what? Like, so cool. Seeing these movies on the big screen, the way they were intended to be seen is such a rare opportunity, and I'm so lucky that I was able to see Sleepless in Seattle and Nashville today, and hear a panel on Nora Ephron and become more familiar with this incredible woman who I'm definitely going to be watching all of her movies, reading all of her books. So inspiring. So if you ever get the chance to come to TCM next year, if you live in LA and you want to make the journey out to Hollywood, I highly, highly, highly recommend you do it. Um, no excuses because I actually met a guy who lives in Virginia who traveled all the way here just for TCM. So if he can do it, you can do it. You definitely should do it. TCM, again, thank you so much. We love it, and we'll be back next year. Bye.